Hey, T-Bird fans, Ian Henry here with another episode of Top Shelf. I'm with head coach Matt Odette on a Thursday morning as the team prepares for the start of the preseason tomorrow up in Everett, Vancouver Giants, 11.30 a.m. First preseason game. We'll play three games over the weekend at the Everett tournament. Uh, Matt, we're coming off training camp, uh, scrimmages, blue-white game. What were your overall impressions of uh, training camp? I thought training camp went well. Um, you know, a lot of good young players. Um, got the opportunity to see a lot of the the new guys, the old threes, and you know it's a great crop of, crop of kids. And you know there were uh, were a lot of tough decisions in training camp, and you know that's a good thing. It means there's a lot of good players out there, and you know decisions aren't easy to make. How do you uh, approach the preseason games? We're starting tomorrow. What is uh, what is your mindset? What's the team mindset? What's the team focus as we head into the preseason? Well, we're still evaluating players, um, trying to choose our team. Um, there's some battles going on, um, not only to make the team, but for ice time, um, you know, uh, you know, spots on the team, you know, depth depth chart st type stuff, um, you know, power play, penalty kill, all that stuff. So uh, we're trying to see who seizes those opportunities. Um, at the same time, we're starting to implement some of our systems, um, get some of that stuff going, and you know, we're looking for improvement each and every game. Um, you know, uh, as we go on, we should be, uh, you know, fully ready to go come uh, come regular season. You mentioned uh, systems implementing them. How much of that penalty kill, power play, uh, breakouts, things like that, will you will you want to see in preseason games versus just sort of rolling lines and giving guys a chance to 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 play? Yeah, we're gonna roll lines. Um, you know, obviously the lines aren't gonna be the same uh, that they're gonna be in the regular season. Um, there'll be a lot of our key guys out of the lineups. Um, it's an opportunity to see the young guys, and you know we've implemented a couple of a couple of our core systems. Um, so we'll we'll be looking for that to improve each and every game. Um, you know the power play units will be obviously different every game, so that's not as big of a priority. But um, you know with what we've introduced, we want to see improvement there. We have three goalies in camp: Eric Ward, Cole Schwebius, Liam Hughes. Uh, three games. What's the? Is there a plan that you can share on how get them enough uh, game time, playing time? Is it going to be? One guy each game, a couple guys a game? We'll play by ear. I think the plan right now is to, to see each one of them for a full game. Um, you know, we'll start uh, with the first game in Vancouver, and we have our starter picked out, and, and we'll go from there. Same question a little bit with the 20-year-olds. I thought uh, all four guys that we have battling for three spots were pretty good in training camp. They all they all showed well, I thought. What's the what's the plan in getting those guys enough ice time? Obviously, you want, you don't, you're want you not going to play them all the time, but you want to see what they bring to the table, and you want to create a, a competition among the guys. What's the plan there? Yeah, I mean, they're all going to get an opportunity to play. Um, it's that fine line. You're right, it is a competition, but at the same time, we want to you know, give these guys some rest, too. They're key players on our team, and um, we want to make sure they're ready to go and healthy uh, for the first game of the regular season. So this is your sixth training camp overall, second as a head coach. Is there anything that you've learned over that time that you're implementing as you as the team heads into preseason training camp this year, or is it just sort of making a little a little tinkering here and there? Well, every time you go through it, it gets a little bit easier. Um, I think this year, uh, second time being a head coach, um, you know, not to get uh, as uh, you know. Um, you know, into the preseason, it's a it's a process. And, you know, like I said, we want to see uh, improvement. Um, you know, we want to play well. Uh, we want to see the guys playing hard and competing. Um, you know, the the results aren't necessarily life and death. Uh, obviously, we like to win. We're very competitive. Every time we put on the the T Birds jersey, we want to show well. So, um, you know, we're going to make sure we do that. But you know, ultimately, it's uh, getting prepared for opening night. We've had uh, a fair amount of player signings recently, T-Bird fans. What does it say about the culture um, that you've built here that these guys have come in and they're signing? We're, we're, we're proud of our draft class. We're proud of some of the guys and performance that they've had at training camp. What does that say about the culture that you've, that you've built and that you've built upon uh, previous coaches and that you've tinkered with and improved each, each season? Well, it's, I think it's proven that it's, this is a great place to play. Um, you know, we take a lot of pride in our players developing and, and being successful in their hockey careers and, you know, in life uh, in general, whether it's in hockey or not. Um, you know, just our track record recently with the numerous guys that have turned pro and, and played in the NHL. And, you know, not only that, the guys that have moved on and, and played, you know, Canadian University hockey and are pursuing their education, we, we value that as well. So we're, we're proud of what we're doing here. I think we're starting to, 
you know, uh, emerge as one of the top destinations uh, in the CHL, and you know, we'll continue to build on that. Thanks for the time, Matt. Uh, good luck in the preseason. And T-Bird fans, we start tomorrow against Vancouver. Some of those players that we have signed, you will see on the ice in the Everett preseason tournament as well as at our preseason game on Tuesday, September 11th here at the Accesso Shower Center against the Silvertips.